I'm really interested in the third party tokens and seeing how the kind of gamification from them and how uh, just talking about PLSX on the on the on that staking side a little bit. Yep. The third party, everyone says, Oh, it's gonna dump my third party. I was talking to David Feeder. Oh, I'm gonna dump third party. Why would I keep them? Why would I keep them? And I was I was like the other side, I'm like, well, to, for them to have value, they they can't just be dumped all the time. So unless we have a third party token OA somewhere. <laughs> It was just shielding the supply and just soaking all this stuff up. And maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Like they got to have some value. Not everyone will be dumping them. So yeah, you can like the, obviously they are, they are the, the brunt of the, they will be the brunt of the dumping. Like you want, you know, to, to, to get more, you don't want to sell the PLSX. So you're getting this other token, blah, blah, blah. But it really depends on, Hey, maybe this token is, you know, something part of some club or something that you want to be a part of. And, Maybe it means something to you for the meme world, or maybe it means something that it gets you access to other sacrifice phases or, you know, this whole creating a sacrifice set based on another sacrifice set of a community that has some synergy. It's not going away anytime soon. So I could see third party token, not just being the dump forever token. It could be like, Ooh, I don't know if I want to dump this and which makes price go up. So the people who do dump it are going to get a better price.